Hello friends, welcome to Quick Learn Tutorial Series. In this video, I will explain you Step Down Chopper, its working operation and waveform. So first I give in just introduction about chopper. In my previous lecture, I have already explained the introduction of chopper. Chopper is basically a static power electronic device that convert fixed DC input voltage into variable or adjustable DC output voltage. Chopper is nothing but a high speed switching device that connect or disconnect the load from source at a high rate to get variable or chopped voltage at the output side. Here we see the diagram. It is a DC to DC converter. It means it is a chopper. The input of the chopper is a fixed DC input voltage and we get the output is variable or adjustable DC voltage. So simply we can say that chopper is a DC to DC converter just like an AC transformer. And chopper can increase or decrease the DC voltage level at its output side. So According to this, there are basically two types of chopper, step up chopper and step down chopper. So in this video, I will explain you step down chopper or it is work like a buck converter. Step down chopper is work like a buck converter. It is used to reduce the input voltage level at output side. Why it is called buck converter? Because this circuit is used to reduce the input voltage level at the output side. It means in a step down chopper, output voltage is always less than or equals to the supply voltage. So this is the circuit diagram of a step down chopper. Vs is the supply voltage. This is chopper. It means a high speed switching device. This is free wheel diode. Here we use inductor at the load side, inductor and the load resistance RF. This is the circuit diagram of step down chopper. Now the operation of the chopper. The chopper is operating in two mode basically. First is when chopper is on and second is when chopper is off. So first we discuss what happened when chopper is working in first mode. It means chopper is on. Chopper is on means the switch is closed. When the switch is closed or chopper is on, the current flow in this direction, in this loop, the freewheeling diode this time is reverse bias. So the current flow in this direction and inductor get energized with supply voltage Vs. So the polarity across the inductor is positive and negative. And the Output voltage across load is equal to V output equal to Vs. This is the output voltage. That is V output equal to Vs when chopper is on. Now, the second mode of operation of chopper when chopper is off. Chopper is off means the switch is open. When switch is open, the supply voltage is disconnect from the load side. This time, when chopper is on, the inductor get charge. Now when chopper is off, the inductor can release energy. And when inductor release it energy, it change its polarity. This is the property of inductor. So this time when inductor discharge, it change its polarity. This is positive and this point is negative. This time the current again flow in this direction and the free wheel diode is start conducting and the output voltage across load equal to zero. Now the operation of the chopper explain with the help of waveform. This is the constant DC supply Vs. T is the total time period or chopping period in which the chopper is on or chopper is off. The duration where T on is the interval in which chopper is on state and T off is the interval in which chopper is off state. When 
chopper is in on stage it means the t on time the inductor start charging from its minimum value to up to maximum value from i1 to i2 this time the output voltage across load equal to vs as we see in the first mode of operation when chopper is on output voltage equal to vs now when t of time it means when chopper is off the inductor release its energy it means inductor start discharging and the output voltage across load this time equal to zero again the cycle is repeating again t on time output voltage equal to vs inductor charge and t of time inductor discharge output voltage equal to zero so this is the waveform of step down chopper now now we calculate the value of average output voltage the average output voltage equal to 1 upon t the chopping period or the total time period integration 0 to t v output dt that is equal to 1 by t 0 to t the total time interval is divided into two part 0 to t on and Z, t on to t off so 0 to t on the output voltage is equal to vs and during t on to t off output voltage equal to 0 so that part is equal to 0 only this part is existing so that is equals to by solving this we get vs t on by t where t on by t is called duty cycle that is denoted by d so t on by t equal to the duty cycle of chopper d multiplied by vs this is the average output voltage of a step down chop now if t on can vary from 0 to t so the duty cycle is always vary from 0 to 1 now the average output voltage across the load can be stepped down by varying the duty cycle d there is two condition if chopper is always off it means the duty cycle is zero so the output voltage is zero because we know that v average output voltage equal to d by vs d equal to zero v output is equals to zero if chopper is always on it means the duty cycle is 1 so v output is equal to vs now if the duty cycle is 25% it means 0.25 so what is the value of the average output voltage so the average output voltage is v output is equals to 0.25 vs which is less than the supply voltage so by this calculation we can say that in a step down chopper or in buck converter output voltage is always less than or equals to the supply voltage so we can conclude that output voltage is always less than the input voltage and hence the name step down chopper is justified so guys thank you for watching this video for more videos please like subscribe and share my channel